Hello, welcome to Zatu Games. Today I'm going to be assembling some of the miniatures from Blood Bowl Second Season. Now this is something that I have not really dabbled in before. I'm not a, I don't play a lot of miniature games where you have to cut the figures out and stick the bits together. I have done some before, but if you want to see an idiot doing these things and see how you could do a much better job, or if you're a little bit scared about jumping in, then just watch this video. This originally appeared on Facebook, but it's been uh, edited and sped up in bits to make it a lot shorter and I've taken out all the references to comments on there. So take a look, see what you think and uh, yeah, enjoy. Hello, welcome to me doing some building. Now, uh, I am not, I've constructed or assembled before um, some Games Workshop stuff. I've assembled some Shade Spire stuff, so I have had to clip out from the sprues, but they were push fit. So this is the first time that I'll be using the poly cement or plastic glue. Um, I have the instructions here. Now I've decided to ignore the first one because of all those little bits. Maybe if we get this one done, we'll see about this guy. Um, and I have the tools. It does recommend some up here. I've gone for the official Citadel plastic glue. I have my clippers. Now in the past, I have used toenail clippers. <laughs> But the most important thing is that you want a flat edge because that is what will be pressed up against the plastic there. And just in case, I have a craft knife, a old paintbrush which I use for gluing or removing glue, and some kitchen towel for mopping the sweat off my brow. Um, the first thing we'll do is we'll just cut these free um, because these ones are... Um, you know, you're not going to glue these together. These are just solid parts. Uh, I also have a mold, a mold line remover, which uh, removes the lines where the plastic joins there, allegedly. To me, it just looks like a bit of metal on, the, on a handle. So we'll see. We'll see with that. Um, this stuff, if I just cut somewhere where it doesn't matter, is really easy to cut through with these, even the thicker bits you can just kind of cut through. So you can get closer if you need to. So we start with the one of these rulers, flat edge um, against the bit that you want to keep essentially. And then you snip, snip, snip. So the idea with this is I am not very good at this sort of thing. Um, I'm not an art -y person in terms of, with words, I like to think I'm arty with words, uh, but with physical stuff I'm a bit clumsy, I'm a bit, um, I've always been a bit scared to do this for, for a couple of reasons. The first is that I will then start buying a load of it and be poor, and the second is that I will mess it up. So you can see, now down here it doesn't really matter. Uh, let me show you on there. The mould, kind of where you've clipped off, doesn't really matter there because that's going against something. Possibly I will glue that into the other one. Um, but along the side, you've got these uh, mould lines, which this allegedly oh, does take them off a bit, yeah. I would say if there's anything else to catch, though, it's going to remove that too. So it just takes off, just smooths it down there. Okay, that does kind of work. So why would you go through this rather than buying models fully assembled? Well, there are a couple of reasons. The first is that the models generally get more... Um, get more com complex the more you can print the bits individually. So uh, they're able to do far more detail on these than a single model. The other reason is if you're a painter you can paint all these bits separately before you assemble them. Tom, did you glue this ruler together? Did you glue these bits together? Tom's also pointing out that if you um, 
Is that going to fit in the box glued? I mean, it kind of holds together anyway. It doesn't really need any glue. Um, oh, it holds together really well. I'm not going to glue that. Um, no floppy spears. So when you have models that are made in one piece, bits of it can get floppy, um, bend. Now, there is a, a, a way to resolve, resolve that, and that is to dip the floppy bit in hot water and then take it out it will reshape and then take it out and stick it in cold water and it will harden again um no because it doesn't fit back in the box so these are plastic models if this goes well i'm going to do a resin model one as well from core space resin is slightly different in that you use super glue and um you wash the pieces first so on the instructions here we're going to do the ogre we have pieces one and two and as you can see there is a load of sprue helpfully colored into the different uh, teams and uh, biased referees here are blue maybe do a referee in a minute because they're a bit smaller and um this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces and a base. So we will uh, start getting stuck in. So we need one and two. Numbers appear on the sprue. You're probably not quite going to pick that up. So there's one and there's two. So again, I'm going to be even more careful here getting the flat side against the model and then just clipping. Now, if you're ever struggling to get into one of these, you can, again, snip through, maybe use an old pair of clippers uh, to snip through this plastic and get a better in to the uh, title of your sex tape, to the sprue. So, we have pieces one and two, just gonna check the lines on those. That one's actually not bad, and I don't think getting that on there. This one does have a couple of bits where it, it is gonna push in, I believe. Let me just check I'm doing the right thing. Yep, yep. And that is, okay, so it's kind of fitting in. Is it going over the top there? Yeah, like that. So it's gonna be fitting in there like so. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the plastic glue just on the edge around there. Now, I have had a little practice with this stuff. It does dribble down the uh, <laughs> tube. And another tip for you is don't push this bit because it will go into the bottle, as I found out. It does smell, so if, if you're not filming, make sure you're in a well-ventilated room and I'm just gonna try that, oh my goodness, the stench. And then I'm just gonna push that on together there. A few seconds, as the Loopmeister says. And yeah, already that's a nice firm fit. Um, you know, first go, first go with the old poly. So now we want pieces 10, 11, 4 and 3 and they are the arms and the feet. Now I know on some models, um, not so much Blood Bowl, I love the smell of poly cement. It's like, it's like having pearl, pear drop, it does smell of pear drops, you're right there Luke. Um, but kind of in a, in a toxic way or a more toxic way. So this one I'm just being a little bit more careful on because it's a little smaller. And then uh, 10 is there, as I thought, flat side, flat side. What was I saying? So Luke, have you ever done magnets in your figures? So say you had um, two arm sections, you can choose poses and some people don't want to lock into one. So what they do is they'll um, drill in to an arm and pop a little magnet in there again with some glue so this arm looks interesting i think it's gonna go 
always kind of work out how you're doing it before committing to glue. You can have a look at the little um, model there. I've got no head on this guy. I might do this one first. This one looks easier. Okay. Is that right? That seems, seems fair. So into there with that one. And look on ahead to double check your placement. So that one does seem to fit there. They're going to have um, epaulets. He's used magnets. If you have a tool to drill out the hole for the magnets either side, it's all pretty simple. What am I considering magnetizing? Uh, to be honest, it will probably be Gaslands cars rather than uh, any, I haven't got any figures that I will um, do. So i uh, put some cement in there. Haven't worked this one out yet. Right, back to the glue. And uh, just, Going round, and I have to say, this dispenser is much easier than doing the super glue so far. Um, okay, get that in there, hold that in place. Yeah, so me and my son, we don't really play Gaslands, but we do like bashing up Hot Wheels cars and adding weapons to them. So we're going to be, we're thinking about doing some magnetizing of weapons. So there you go, you can see uh, that has fit on nicely. Now this arm is causing me a little bit of... I don't know where it goes. So let's have a look at the front here. So it's on that one and <laughs> it has that bit, so is that too far back? Yeah. I can't even see out of that. Am I too high up? Oh, it's... No. Oh, does that go? No. So I told you this will make you have much more confidence. Um, yeah, making gasless stuff. I, I really want to play it like I've got some of the things, but um, that must be like that, I think. Yeah, because then that lines up with the hole. So this one's, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, this one's kind of lines up with that, I believe. Kind of had it a minute ago. <laughs> so we're gonna, we'll stick the glue on the arm this time, I think. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. It is gonna be, I can see it's gonna be covered, so I might cut out those next bits just to check. Is that eight? Yeah, eight. And nine is the rest of his hand. And then six is the bit that goes in this little hole here. So I'm probably getting quite high from the uh, glue as well. So that's nice. Okay, so this little bit is going to be a little bit tough to cut out. I got it because there's little spikes all over it. So here I can't get very close, so I'll just get as close as I can and probably use the knife to, if I can get, can't get this one in there. Yep, so that's uh, six. Then these two bits go on his arm. So we have, this is going to go, it, ah, there we go, that's better. Change your angle, pro tip, change your angle and it should all become apparent. It's going to be a great YouTube video of me doing this the whole way through. Um, so yeah, change your angle and the truth will become apparent. Get some of those other bits that are touching. So uh, when we looked from a 
bottom point of view, I could see the lines lining up. Just hold them together there. So, I think that looks good. Just line it up. It's all going to be covered up in a minute with this bit going in there. So, yeah, and then that will cover a multitude of sins, just as my beard covers a multitude of chins. Thank you. Here all week. If you would like to see more of an idiot doing stuff like this, do let us know. Um, we're happy to do... Uh, all sorts of content as long as we can um, so if there's stuff you'd like to see certain games you'd like to see us play in we're going to try and do some of the virtual implementations tabletopia tabletop sim um, that sort of thing so uh, do he said it was easy and then he can't flip and get it in there we go Oh yeah, that's feeling like nice now. Still not got a head, but oh, pear drops. That that is a good. That was a good observation, Luke. One other thing you can do if you've got shaky hands like me is there are kind of tweezer sets, um, kind of uh, shaped tweezer sets as well. Um, so you can kind of hold them together. With that now, as you can see, some of the advantages of having these smaller pieces is the more detail like this part of his armor has got some battle damage on well, that is the bit we always enjoy adding on to our gaslands cars so it looks like most of the stuff you need is all going to be on the same sprue for these models as well uh, which is handy so this one's slightly more difficult again because there is a spike um, right in the, um, so there's a spike, there's a joining bit. So I'm just gonna shave that off with a knife, I think. Which just push, re I just push really gently, making sure that's the only bit I'm touching. Or what I could do actually is get this in from this angle now, cause it's removed, of course. So remember, if you're struggling, you can always cut further away and then come in at a different angle when you've got the bit out. So that was number four, and this one's number three. I don't think I've only got two more bits to put on, seven, and his head. So just pay a little bit more attention here because his feet will be, um, will be seen, but again, no one's going to be picking these up, especially if I paint them because uh, they'll be too stunned by my terrible paint job. Ah, oh, the feet are great. They fit on without glue, but I will glue them. Unless I wanted to simulate realistic injuries, losing of a foot, for example. Fantastic. Be careful with Grim Griff Oberwald's head. It instructs you to glue his face on first, then the helmet. But do not do this. Helpful tips from Matt as well, which is good because I am a total rookie. Uh, the helmet won't fit over the head. Glue the face into the helmet first. So while that's drying, I'm just going to find that little bugger. Smell some more, uh, some more uh, stuff there. What is he? Where is he? Oh, at the back here. When you're doing um, 5A, Griff Overworld, uh, do not put his head into the model. Instead, um, construct his helmet and plonk his face into that and then the whole bit into the top of the model there. Totally empty sprue. Oh, knocked over his poly cement. And then we have, so that one's going in there like that. Um, so probably 
quite a few contact points for that. Gets, um, but I think I'll glue the piece this time. His head. His head, which is going to fit in there like that, nice and snug. So we'll go in there. So we have one of those. Let me just reach over, grab a base. Now, some people will put tufts of grass on the base and all sorts, won't they, Luke? Um, but I'm just going to uh, stick him in it. Uh, we want that way round because the front of the bases have a hole for the ball, I believe. So, there we go. First ever model glued. I will have to glue that to the base, but I won't glue him just yet. Um, so, pretty happy with that uh, for a first effort. Nothing to be scared of. You can't go worse than me. I am literally the worst. So, uh, so yeah. Um, what time is it? How long have we been on? We'll do, we'll do one of the refs. go. Yeah, you can play the new Mario um, up to four player co-op and it's got an online mode. So there we go, we have the um, ogre done, uh, just need to glue into a base, I will do that once I've decided what if I'm doing any painting and stuff. Uh, one of the bias referees, the elf there, and the dwarf referee there. So uh, pretty happy with that for a morning's work. Um, do remember the tip we had earlier, most important tip from a, listen, a watcher today, Griff Overworld. Do not stick number three straight into the model, construct his helmet around his face first and then glue it into the model. That felt like an important tip. So there you have it, thanks again for watching Zatu. Do remember to like subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified and kept up to date with all of our video content and we are live on twitch and facebook during the week we're on twitter instagram all that good stuff so please go follow us there and thanks again for watching we'll see you next time